I cannot wait to warm up with true stretched res on Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Oh no, a flashbang! It's the same game but worse, but with stretched res, oh my god. Since I pretty much started playing PC games, I've never actually played on a native resolution. My biggest limitation was the fact that I had pretty bad hardware at the time, so in order to get those extra frames I'd always be playing on obscure stretch resolutions to try and squeeze as many frames out as possible. It's pretty much become a comfort thing for me now. Uh, it feels much easier to aim, and I prefer it overall over native. And coming to Valorant, it was pretty shocking when I saw that our stretch res was essentially just native with a lower scale UI. And I hope I can help other players by showing them how to get true stretch res. Okay, the first thing we're going to need before we start anything is going to be our control panel, which will be for whatever computer hardware you have. I have an NVIDIA 10, GTX 1060, so I have the NVIDIA control panel. And then we're going to need a software called Win Explorer that basically takes the proper, allows you to customize the borders properties of a software. So let's say, uh, let me find it. If I want to remove the border for this, that's essentially all it does. And then that's what we're going to use to allow us to take advantage of the full stretch res on Valorant. Okay, so I kind of went back and had a look and I realized that I made a kind of important mistake. Before we do anything, before we launch a game, you want to make sure you go to your NVIDIA control panel or the Radeon software for AMD. And you're going to go on to the change resolution tab. So what you're going to want to do is go here into the in, uh, the customize section. And this is going to show you uh, non-traditional resolutions. And you're going to want to go and enable resolutions that are not exposed by this display. And create a custom resolution. Okay, now that our game is open. The first thing you're, it's going to is this like this because of the fact that I've been doing the stretch res method. You're going to want to first change your game to windowed and you want to change it to the highest resolution that your monitor allows. And you're going to put that on fill. That's important because it's basically going to fill the rest of your screen when you change the resolution. So with the custom resolution that I explained, you're going to press apply and it's going to stretch your entire screen out. It's going to be like this for your whole desktop. So unfortunately, it means you have to stretch this out for your whole desktop and you're going to have to do it every time you launch the game because these settings don't save outside once the uh, window has been closed then you're going to go to the win explorer application you're going to go to the valorant unreal window first we're going to remove the game border and then we're going to change this size and position to maximize and that's essentially going to full screen the game without the game being full screen so there you have it so there you have it two true stretch res on valorant and if you go and look in the range here, you'll see that no catches, to, no hiccups to it. It works perfectly fine. And um, I think I'll probably be playing the game from this way from now on. Just more comfortable to me, what I'm used to. As you can see, the V models are a lot more like CSGO's. Got the strange, the stretched range bot. Everything is stretched a lot better than what typically we see. Now, if you enjoyed today today's video, I'm not even gonna say that bullshit. <sighs> Do you consider leaving a comment, leaving a like? I'm trying to get into content creation, so anything will help. And hopefully you'll expect more videos from me as I'm just kind of doing this in my free time, hobby time kind of thing, you know, random stuff. Ah, uh, peace.